Hey guys, it is me, Happy Star again. Welcome to Lens Island. So Lens Island is an upcoming survival game that I found on Steam. It's not only a survival game, but it's also a base building game. But hey, all what matters is that I can chop down trees and I think we're gonna play every single game in existence that <laughs> lets us chop down trees. All right, so what they're saying here is that this is just a demo, things may change, blah, blah, blah. There might be bugs. So this is how we walk. Okay, I already love it, I already love it. Can we chop down the bushes? All right, let's go, let's smash these bushes. Did I get any resources from that? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure we can just chop down trees though. 100% we can definitely do that. Let's go. Let's start smashing trees. The first thing what we do <laughs> when we spawn in is just smash trees. I love this game, mate. I love this game. Wait, are we going to get wood from that? Okay, go. The tree fell. I can go and collect my wood. This is nice. How do I open up my backpack? Oh, and dab. I love that. So we got my resources. We got wood. We got probably some food stuff and then building. All right, we're gonna build that stuff a bit later. Maybe let's go talk to the guy over here. What is this dude? So we can buy pumpkin seeds. I don't really need to buy pumpkin seeds from you. Are those even pumpkins? I mean, it says that those are pumpkin pieces. Well, everything seems weird. I don't want to buy anything from you, mate. Maybe I can touch this. Oh, we can buy anything we want. We can buy like lavender. We can buy blueberries. And at the same time, we can sell them. Can I like buy new pickaxes? Golden mine drill. Okay, so lots of stuff that we could buy, but hey, we don't care about it. What I care about is that can I go and smash this thing? Because I have my pickaxe. Yes! We can smash the stone pile. I love it. I love it. So I'm gonna smash some things and maybe then we could go and sell that stuff to him. But hey, we're not gonna be selling that. And it doesn't really even look like those pickaxes and hatchets have any durability. We got a little bit of limestones. Can I get this barrel? All right, so the barrel just got destroyed. We got some metal scraps. I love that. Maybe we're gonna go like deeper into the island. Oh, we can roll with Q. That's nice. Wait, those are different ores? Dude, I love this game so much. Check this out. We can smash different type of ores. If that's not awesome, I don't know what is awesome. You know that we are playing here lots of and lots of survival games. And when we see something good, we can smell that from the future. And this game just smells amazing. I also like the design of this game. That it's kind of very simplistic. But that's what I'm all about. I like simple games. Oh, there is a cave. Can we hop inside of that cave? Wait, I want to go and explore it. Also, this is just a demo. So this game is not out fully yet. And I don't really know for how long we can play it. All I know is that we just hyped inside of some sort of a dungeon. The ancient caves. Alrighty, what do we do inside of these ancient caves? Do we just farm resources, perhaps? That's it. Well, I'm just gonna smash one extra barrel. I got some more scrap. Maybe I need to craft a torch to be able to see better. Let's go to the building menu. Oh, here we go. We can craft garden beds. We can craft storages. We can craft some shelves. And maybe then I can craft, like, some torches. I have no idea. Oh, there's another ore. Can I smash it, perhaps? Maybe we're gonna leave this cave because maybe it's not... Maybe we're not supposed to be here. Maybe it's too early for us to be in this place. Also, I have no idea what kind of a thing we're smashing here. But I'm quite certain it's gonna be important. Alright, we just destroyed it. So why did we get... We got some sort of crystals. Right, whatever. Can we go up now? Oh, we can jump with space! I didn't even know that! Wow! This is epic. This is actually epic. This game makes me smile. I don't know why. I, I, it's awesome. All right, we're gonna go maybe further when I get, like, some better gear, perhaps. Because I'm quite certain you can craft better gear. Because why wouldn't you be able to craft a better gear? Every game lets you craft better gear. All right, so I'm just gonna chop down more of that grass. And maybe let's start crafting a base somewhere. Maybe you can also craft rafts. Because from what it looks like, this is a pretty tiny island. I'd love to get a raft. Or at least something else. Oh, check this out. What is that? Oh, this is just a rock. It looked like something shining. All right, that's just a rock. I want to craft a base here. So let's go to the building menu. All right, so to craft a wooden foundation, every home starts with a good foundation. Can we craft that wooden foundation? It doesn't really look like we have enough wood. So you know what that means. It's time for us to go and start smashing some cheese. Let's craft a simple 2x2 two two shack just for the beginning to see how it works. And we can always expand our base. Because if I'm going to start crafting a massive base, I don't think we're ever going to be able to finish that. So let's craft this wooden foundation. Oh, I like it. How do we turn it, though? Oh, we can put it higher. We can put it lower. Let's try to put it like that somewhere over here. Maybe we can also turn it. Oh, we can turn around. This is epic. All right, I'm going to place it over here. Boom. Beautiful, beautiful. That gets high approval. Can we craft more of those? Boom. Oh, my goodness. Base building is so satisfying for some reason. I love that. <laughs> and check this out. When you go inside of the base, it zooms in. Oh, my God. Th th this game is awesome. Let's drop this. Can we get more wood? Yes, let's go. Let's try to chop down some more wood. Seriously, this game gets Sykes approval already. Just by chopping down a couple of trees and placing, like, three foundations, I'm already in love with this game. I mean, at least so far, base building feels kind of simple. And if the game says... Ah! 
I got attacked by bees, stupid bees. Let's drop this thing over here and let's try to craft our first ever door. Oh my goodness, look at that. Uh, hold alt to multi-place. All right, we don't need to multi-place multiple doors. We can go to the door. Look at that, look at that. This is so beautiful. But when I go out, we don't see the things for some reason. Okay, doesn't matter. I'm gonna play this. Can I place more walls? Yes, indeed. And we need more wood. Where's my health though? Oh, I see it. It's in the, in the middle of the screen. Let's go over here. Let's build boom, boom, boom. So what about these walls? Are they here? Yes, they gotta be here. And I feel like evening is coming, so what if I'll just go to this guy? Maybe we can click on info. Remember to save your game. Can we save the game now? Oh, we have to save it at the bed. Okay, I get it. We're gonna place another wall and one more wall. That's it. So we've crafted an entire base now. It's kind of sad that you don't see walls from outside. So when we are over here, we can see the base, but when we go higher, it kind of disappears a little bit, but it's fine. Doesn't matter. We need to craft the roof now. Uh, boom, boom. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I want to see how my base looks like. I want to see how the roof looks like. Ooh, that's quite sick. So for more roof, we got to get whatever that is. What is that? Clay. Oh, we got to get clay for the roof. We just got to get clay. Okay. I'm going to smash one extra rock because I already started smashing it. So I might as well get it. And then we'll go and try to get some more clay. And it also spoke there about like those dangerous adventures, etc, etc. So I would assume that we are, will have to craft a boat. We will have to craft a boat in order to go anywhere. Because how else would we be able to travel from one place to another place? Alrighty, here we go. We just got some more clay. Let's pick all of that up. And I feel like we can finish building our base. Let's go to building. Let's turn that around. Wait, how do I switch it? Is it gonna be good? Uh, did I place it properly? Hopefully. Alrighty, so I just harvested some more trees, so I might as well go and finish our base. That's it, I feel like we finished it. Like, our base is done. Wish there was a button. You know, let's say we go inside of the base and we could still see how our base looks like, because over here we don't see the roof, but that makes sense. Why would you want to see the roof? You wouldn't be able to see yourself. All right, so the bed will also allow us to skip the night, obviously. So let's get some more wood and some sort of that grass. What is this grass? Fibers. All right, we can get those fibers. Not big of a deal. Place to store and equip your food items. So we can craft a pantry or you can craft a weapon rack. A place to store and equip your weapons and shields. All right, that seems fun. But hey, we need 20 grass for that. To be able to craft uh, a bed, I mean. Oh, I just realized. Check this out. When you're chopping down some sort of a bush or a tree, you gotta click... Attack button when something is shining. Like now. Now. And I'm pretty sure we are doing some crit damage. And this way we're chopping down stuff faster. That's why you gotta click on it. And then you get like that uh, orange glow. Yellow glow. Let's try to do that with the trees. Oh, I get it. Now it's a lot more fun to chop down trees as you gotta time it properly. And now we're doing 9 damage instead of 6. I get it now, I get it now. It took me 84 years to realize that, but hey, we finally realized that. That's great. In my opinion, that's cool. This way, you don't only have to smash that left mouse button constantly. You also have to look on your screen. Alrighty, we got enough grass, we got enough wood, so we might as well hop into our amazing shack that we've just crafted. And let's place a bed somewhere over here. Boom, we placed the bed. So can I go to sleep sleep now? Let's save the game, obviously. Here we go, game saved. And let's go to sleep because we don't care about the night. Ooh, look at how game is pretty during the day. This is beautiful. So what else should we do? We could craft carpets, shelves, etc., etc. We could also start crafting grow beds. Cute little bed for your garden. So yeah, maybe let's try to craft those gardens then. Oh no, there are more bees attacking me all the time. They're always bees. Alrighty, we got enough grass, we got enough everything, so we could go and craft now a bigger grow bed. I'm also quite certain you can craft two floors, because, check this out, when you go over here, there are stairs, so that means you could craft two floors if you wanted to. But hey, we're not crafting that, we don't need them. What I do need, though, is my grow bed. Do I have to attach it? No, we don't have to attach it, we can place it over here. Boom! Maybe it's a bit too far from the base, but it is what it is, let's click on it. So what could I plant? We could plant blueberries. Can I plant more blueberries? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. The more blueberries, the better. Then we can just plant lavender. Plip plop and plip plop. Here we go. We started growing more blueberries, more lavender. Not sure if we had to do that, but hey, we did it. What if I go on this boat? Can I swim somewhere here? Oh no, we cannot. So maybe let's try to sell some of my wood. How much wood do I have? Let's try to sell it. So I just got one coin. And what can I do with that one coin? Hello, dealer. I just got one coin. We've got money now. We could sell rocks. So I probably know what we have to do next is we gotta craft a refinery. Use the steam to grind down large minerals into little bits so you can sift out all sorts of precious metals and gems. 
It seems very expensive. And also we have a fireplace. Keeps you warm and cozy. But for that, we probably gotta get coal. Mine from stones and find within caves. Uh, all right. Also, we could buy a torch for lighting up the dark areas. We just gotta get... Again, more coal, wood, and fibers. Uh, let's go. So I still don't have a slightest clue. How do we get coal? Maybe just by smashing some random rocks, we'll be able to get some coal, but I doubt it. I've never gotten coal from these rocks. Now we just get stones. <gasps> Check what I found, ladies and gents. We can go somewhere. Oopsies, oopsies. Wait, can we... Uh, there's definitely something there. Alrighty, let's get my axe. Let's try to smash this barrel. We got some scraps. Let's try to do a little bit of parkour, then we finally found... Where we could go next. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What is this? Uh, maybe we can get some food. I mean, whatever that is, we just got some weird flowers, whatever those flowers are. Marigold, bright yellow flowers found in greasy fields can be replanted in farms. Why do we need those marigolds? I have no idea, but I mean, we might as well get them. Maybe I can sell them. Maybe I can grow and sell them. What is this? Oh, we could repair the bridge to go to another side. We just need wood for the- I love this game. This game is amazing. Well, I'm gonna then start chopping down a couple of trees just to get that wood. And then we can repair this bridge. Again, it's just a demo, but how long is this demo? Usually these demos have around like one hour of gameplay. Well, I'm gonna try to hop back inside of that cave once again. I'm just curious. What could we get inside of it? The ancient caves. Yeah, we're back here. Maybe I can smash those rocks for coal. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, let's smash some of them then. Man, it's gotta get coal. Oh, we got something. We got some crystals and some more stones. I get it. Probably maybe here we're gonna get coal because check this out. It has like some sort of, some sort of goops on it. Some little dots. What did we get here? Oh, we got eight coal! We got eight coal from here. And we got even more coal, but could I go? Or would my character fall there? I'm kind of scared to go there. What if I die? You know what I mean? What if I just die there? Can I destroy those things? No. Alrighty, I can go further. I didn't even know that. Check this out. We can go. We can definitely go. But hey, first of all, let's destroy that barrel. Inside of the barrel, we got four coins. I love that. We didn't even have to sell that then. Alrighty, maybe let's go inside of the cave. Is something bad gonna happen? Um, I think we gotta skedaddle because there is someone chasing me right now and I didn't save. I want to save first of all. I want to get a better sword and then we might come back and fight him and maybe we can come back here. But I just want to save. Imagine that dude can just exit the cave. I wouldn't be surprised. And I just found out that we can sell those crystals for an insane amount of price for like 60 coins. Check this out. We can go to this place and here we can sell those crystals. I don't really know how many crystals I got. I got like four crystals. We can sell that for 240 coins, which is kind of cool. But to get, we could get this brutal blade for 20 coins. It's not that expensive. And we could get this katana for 400 coins. But what if we require those crystals? If they're expensive, that means they are rare. Also, it looks like we're not going to be able to grow our stuff unless we buy that watering can. Check this out. I'm not sure if I showed you, but... Over here, there is a watering can, and we could buy it for whatever, 5 wood and 15 iron shards. Maybe we can buy those iron shards somewhere. What are those sapphires? It looks like we could sell all of the flowers that I got. Check this out. We got whatever they are. We sell those marigolds. But whatever, let's sell those crystals. I have four of the crystals. Let's try to sell them. Uh, we got lots of money. We got lots of money. We got lots of money. We have 260 coins now. We need 400 to buy this awesome katana. But I feel like we could just buy this simple sword, right? Let's go. Let's go. It is something. Big and powerful war axe. Let's buy it as well. Why am I doing this? I bought it. I bought it. Please don't kill me. I wanted to buy it. I really, 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 really wanted to buy it. We could equip some stuff from over here though, right? No, this is food items, but where do I get my stuff? Oh, drag to equip it. All right, we got to drag it. Here we go. We got this knight's axe, and I got the sword now, so I can drag the sword. We just equipped the sword. And what if I get this axe? Gonna chop down trees with that thing. Oh, no, it doesn't do anything. And we also have some special abilities. Check this out. When we got the sword and I click W, I can, like, do this kind of rolling thingy with five... Oh, I can do the same spinny attack. Okay. Maybe I didn't have to buy the sword and that thing. Well, all that matters is that we can go to bed. We can save the game. We can go to sleep sleep now. And let's go to that cave. Let's fight whatever monster was there. Maybe I wasn't even supposed to buy that sword. I was supposed to just buy that battle axe. But it doesn't matter. If we die, we die. We have just saved. So it doesn't matter. I'm totally ready to die. I'm ready to meet my doom. Maybe I'll be able to dodge them. Maybe... I know it. If I attack... How do I click? You see, it's kind of hard to do the crit attacks. Wait, I want to try to time those crit attacks. Check this out. I attack it. 
It's so hard to time that properly. I swear, I, I swear, peeps. It's so hard to time it. It's impossible. It is actually impossible to time stuff with this axe to do any crit damages. But let's go. I'm gonna try to. Why can't I attack him again? Maybe I can dodge him though. That's it. I dealt with him. I dealt with him. What did I get? I got probably like that dark essence, right? Dark essence is evil substance found in enemies. Powerful and dangerous. Can I click on this? No, this is the game's logo here. Whatever it's supposed to mean. Oh, we just destroyed those barrels so quickly with that battle axe. I love it. I love it. Do we go further? Alrighty, we can dodge. Uh, what if I click this? Why? Why W doesn't work? Oh, because I'm using the pickaxe, not the sword. W. Oh my goodness, I'm almost out of health. Oh no, my goodness, I have no idea what's going on. We're gonna die really, really, really soon. Alright, killed one dude. Killed another dude. We gotta go to heal up real soon. Can I heal with my berries? Oh, we can. I just need more of them though. But hey, that's cool. We're getting some of that dark essence. And I'm quite certain that with that dark essence, we can buy weapons. I just saw another gun there. Another gun, but a weapon. Would be nice here to have a torch or something. Because there's something inside of this house. And I don't see anything. We need a torch for it. We desperately need a torch to be able to figure out what's going on there. Uh, here we probably need to repair the bridge. Why do we need to repair it? Again, more wood and some of that grass. Easy peasy. I just wish that with this battle axe, we could build... We could get better stones. A lot more wood. That we could chop down wood with that, but we cannot. Alright, we got some more... Alright, I'm just gonna skedaddle from here. This looks like someone pretty strong, maybe not that strong, but hey, we're gonna skedaddle. Oh no, that dude is still chasing me. I wanted to go and explore that house. If I had more health, I'd definitely take him on, but I, I don't have any more health. So let's sort of chop down that tree once again with this. No, it doesn't work. If I click W on it, no. Yeah, I'd love a way to upgrade my stuff. Maybe this chop arg. With every swipe, this lightweight cutting axe will pick up speed and chop even faster. So we just need to find iron shards. I still don't have a slightest clue how to get those iron shards. We need to craft that refinery 100%. That's how we get that, those iron shards. And we almost have everything for that refinery besides some charcoal. We just need to get it and we'll get it. Well, sadly, I don't have any more berries, so I cannot heal. At least now I know what we need to do inside of this cave. We gotta get coal. Man's gotta get coal. Man's gotta smash rock. Oh, what is so? Is that rock done? Yes, we got some more coal. Still not sure if that's enough. <gasps> that's enough! That's enough! That's enough! We gotta skedaddle. There's nothing else we need to do inside of that cave. So let's go over here. I don't think we have to craft that forge inside of the base. We can maybe craft it. Uh, oh no, we have to probably place it inside of the base. Yeah, we gotta place it inside of the base. So let's go over here and let's try to place it there then. Okay, like here. Bleep! We got that forge, so what could I do? Oh, we get, can add a little bit of wood. And if I add stones, I don't know what we get. Add limestones and this. So check this. I can light it, but nothing's gonna happen. Let's extinguish it as we get nothing. Or maybe, wait, we can light it and maybe something's gonna happen. Alrighty, so we're just smelting wood, but we get nothing in return. Uh, let's see. Let's hope for something good. Oh, we got this. We got whatever scraps and glass. Did we just get glass for, from that? Glass. Recycle glass used for building and decoration. We don't need that. Alrighty, maybe I can add some coal then. Here we go. Let's start the fire. Let's start smelting. So we gotta get more rocks. And we gotta start smelting that and that's how we get shards. Okay. That's how we get those iron shards. Oh, you even get iron shards from whatever else. Alright, let's try to get limestones. I'm quite certain you get those limestones from over here. So with those shards, I'm planning to buy that watering can. Let's just see how many shards do I need to have. So we need only 15 shards and maybe I'm even gonna have that already. Mayhaps. Mayhaps, mayhaps. Let's click on that. Yes, we have everything. We have everything. So let's add this, this. Oh no, I don't have any more rocks. Whatever, we are gonna get those rocks, buddy. Let's get the watering can. We gotta get it. Let's craft it. So I can drag it. Boom. So how does it even work? Let's get it on three. And let's try to water my stuff. Perhaps over here with W. Sick. Sick. That's very sick. And if I want to get more water, you cannot get seawater. Oh, you do get seawater just like that. Okay. Okay, mate. Can I water them even more? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's just going to stay like that. We just need to wait now until that stuff grows. Alrighty. So I'm going to go and smash some of these clay thingies. And I want to drop stones, clay, and limestones inside of that furnace. 
and see what can I get when I'm smelting all three things at the same time. Kind of sad that if I'm going to drop those items inside of that refined furnace, I can't take them back, but it doesn't matter. Hey, let's hop inside of the base. Let's add clay. Wait, I, I have clay. I just got clay. How much clay do I have? 23. I have 23 clay, mate. So it doesn't let me add it. Maybe we only have to smelt clay. We don't have to smelt both of those things at the same time. And it looks like the resources on this island respawn. I've seen trees growing in front of my eyes here. I've also seen these things is respawning. Because check this out. We look literally mined that clay and it's back here already. So that's kind of nice that resources respawn. So now I don't think that we have to craft the boat and swim somewhere further. So we just need to like repair those bridges and explore caves. I get it. I get it. So what if we go over here and I use that clay? Yes, we got to add 25 clay. Okay, so we can light it up now. So I'm interested. Why do we get after we smell that clay? Maybe we're going to get like that, those gems. I don't think that will be enough to smelt all of this. So I might as well go and chop down a couple of trees. Even though smelting stuff with trees is not very efficient at all. Yeah, look at this. Those trees just keep disappearing like there's no tomorrow. Stop it. What kind of a tree is that? It's not like a stick. It's like paper. Paper burns longer than those sticks. Oh, we got whatever is that. Uh, sapphires. Yeah, precious gems find while refining, uh, refining stones. Okay. Uh, we could buy pumpkins, but I mean... They are expensive. Holy moly, that's expensive. 40 silver, 40 coins for like a few pumpkins. Can we maybe harvest that blueberry plant? Did I get it? We got one blueberry from it, so maybe that's it. But I get only one blueberry back in return when I planted one. So I think I'm getting bamboozled. I think I should let them grow. Let's try to replant those blueberries. Let's try to water that stuff here once again. Yeah, and let's wait until we can start harvesting that. So I'm gonna save once again. We'll go to sleep, sleep. Can I sleep again? Don't water the bed, you idiot. Stop it. Well, it looks like I'll have to buy those pumpkins then. Let's go. Let's buy those pumpkins. Alrighty, so I got those pumpkins. Can I eat them to restore my health? Yes, I just restored a little bit of health. We can restore more health. And now we can harvest perhaps whatever that is. Small blueberries are starting to grow. However, they're too small, too sour to eat. Yeah, okay, so we're just gonna wait. Flowers are developing, though plants are still not fully grown. Okay, so I just try to practice doing like those crit attacks whenever I see like that little circle here. And it's almost impossible to do those crit attacks. I think it would be much better maybe if the game had some audio clues as well. When there's like that circle popping, you could be like, peek, to know where you have to click your, when you have to click your mouse. I don't know, it's just hard. It's just hard to do it. Maybe I'm stupid, probably that's... That's the case. But hey, whatever, doesn't matter. Let's go further. I have no idea how to get to the top there. Did they respawn? I have no idea. All right, so he just... He attacks? Why? Schmuck. I wanted to dodge him, but that didn't work. Whatever, I'm gonna try to smash those barrels. We got scraps. And whatever other group. I'm gonna smash those barrels. We got more scraps. I don't really know what to do with them besides just selling. I don't even know if we can sell that. All right, we gotta dodge, we gotta dodge, we gotta dodge. I have no idea how to dodge them, peeps. I really don't know how to dodge them. But yeah, so... What is this? What is this, ladies and gents? I can't do that. Those crit attacks are way too hard for me. Maybe if I practice hours and hours, maybe then we could do it. But as of right now, those crit attacks are not for us. Not for me. Here we go. We got some stones. I don't have a slightest clue on how to proceed further over there. Maybe I need to get, like... Oh, we could proceed there. I didn't even see it. I should have gotten the tool. What are those spiders? Yikes, this is the goopiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't even want to be here. I I'm telling you. Oh, but they just died with one shot, so it's kind of cool. They keep probably spawning nonstop. That's what they do. Can we go higher from one? <gasps> oh, oof. I have no idea how I survived that. I'm just yoloing it right now. I just want to see what else this game has to offer for me. More coal. Uh, can I go higher? Oh, wow, those dudes. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm legitimately dead. I can smell that they're pretty strong, and I don't have any healing items anymore. Maybe there's something on another side. Oh, there's another path. Corrupt cave caverns. It's too dark. Peeps, it's so dark. I'm trying to leave this place. That's it. I'm leaving that place. Probably we need a torch for it. We definitely need a torch for those corrupt ca caverns. All right, we could buy this torch. Here we go. Let's grab the torch. We could now buy it on three. Boom. Here we go. We got a torch. Oh, you can fight. And use a torch. Oh, no, the battle axe is a one-handed weapon. I mean, battle axe is two-handed weapon. I get it. So, this was a pretty fun game, and you can wishlist it on Steam. So, I highly suggest you checking out my Days Gone Let's Blur. Click on the second card, and you'll go to my Resident Evil 8 Let's Blur. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump the subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yep.